there was an insurance company we worked with years ago that had, you know, of course they still have COBOL, right? And they had so many systems and processes and just such complexities that trying to to innovate was really a nightmare for them. And that that legacy code base that that they had was just insurmountable in terms of trying to modernize that. So I imagine that that's certainly going to be true for some organizations. How do you, how do you really see that being addressed uh, in in this? Uh, AI-driven software engineering environment and, and uh, landscape? Yeah, I think it's it's a question or a problem that we were posed quite early on when we started Cosign. You know, we, of course, were doe-eyed and idealistic and thought, you know, in, in a few weeks, we could create a solution that every investment bank and insurance company under the sun would use. And, mm. you know, quite frankly, we were put it in our place very early on to, you know, an, an example from our side is that we spoke to a, you know, a bulge bracket investment bank that flew us out, present, we presented to the managing directors and they just asked us point blank, how are you going to help us, you know, make PRs, uh, you know, and ship new code in COBOL, in Haskell, in assembly, in, you know, to a certain extent that a lot of these languages are no longer taught. Like right. no, no college student is learning, uh, you know, COBOL or Fortran anymore. And so what do we do? And there's not a, not a lot of training examples out there, I would imagine. Exactly. Right. right? And, and even if there are training examples, they're not open source. They're behind their private repos inside these enterprises that they would never let you have access to. And so that's, that's fundamentally a lot of these important and, you know, out of distribution sort of examples are not also not trained inside LLMs, no matter what model you use, whether you train your own, whether you use an open source or a closed source, open AI, Anthropic, a meta model, it's just out of distribution. So, so what can you do about it, right? So we took the perspective of you only have two options in, 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 in our view, right? You have some players in this space who are doing agentic software engineers like we are. You, you kind of brute force it. You rely on inference time compute. You throw as many solutions as possibly for humanly or even a GPU possibly that you can generate. So you're somewhat throwing spaghetti at the wall, hoping that one of these solutions will work. And in an infinite time frame with enough compute, I think it, it is possible, but it's probably not very probable that you will land on something that adheres to, you know, Fortran code that was written in 1971. I think that's the problem, and that's what we always wanted to focus on as an organization.